Hello pandas and welcome to another trash picking adventure. This one is a bit of a special edition one because I had fun checking out car washes for bottles last week, but I want to see how much copper and brass we can find dumpster diving at plumber's shops. I will be trying to be picky about what we grab, so if I leave behind a whole bunch of motors, please don't get upset. Motors are worth grabbing. I'm just being more focused today. It could go either way. It could turn out really well. It could be a huge waste of time. I don't know, but I'm looking forward to finding out together. Let's do this thing. I don't know what that is. Doesn't really look what, like what I'm looking for. Hey, uh, I'm not sure which one is the the pipe shop, but I was hoping to look in the garbage to see if I could find any. Yeah, take a look. Sweet, thank you. That is a lot of sealed units. Yeah, this is not. Uh, this is just our cores. These aren't. This isn't scrap. Oh. Our scrap is in that in this little trailer right here. Okay, so you guys have a whole system already yeah, with it. Yeah, manufacture all this stuff. Yeah, okay, makes sense. Yeah. How easy is it to re-fab yeah, one of these? It's not too difficult. Well, there's a mini foosball table. <laughs> if I hopped in, I'm not sure how I'd get out. <laughs> all right. Bunch of steel. Couple tiny wires. That's real heavy. Some kind of heating, what's it? And that's aluminum too, so. All right. Those are pretty plastic. All plastic windows these days. That's a shame. Bunch of wood. And that one goes to the metal shop, so it's already spoken for. Kind of curious, though. Yeah, nothing good anyway. Excuse me. Uh, what happens with the scrap here? Okay, but like it's it's spoken for. Do you get a kickback from it, or does it just go? I have no idea. You have to talk it up with Pete and them, eh? I'm uh, I'm hunting for scrap, but I don't want to like just help myself if it's got an owner already. Okay. Yeah. Cool. What about stuff that's in the bin? Oh, I don't know what you missed one. Are you looking for the beeping sound? I'm looking for something that looks smart. Here, let me. Can I help? Yeah. This. Yeah. I think I saw a brass knuckle. Okay. That's a step in the right direction. What's all this then? Looks like we got a couple bits. Have to just see if we can collect any of it though. I 
Looks like they would have removed these, you know, the whole way down if they could have. Got a radiator that's all aluminum. That's interesting. Yeah, yeah that ain't going anywhere. Well, that ain't working. Ew. That's kind of gross. Actually, that's really gross. Oh, hello. That's one more bit. Come on, you. Oh, yes. Cool. <sighs> Sounds pretty good. There's a lot of stuff in there. But it's got a name on it. So... <sighs> Now this is the one I really want. But I feel like we need a much bigger wrench to really give it the business. Yeah, that ain't going anywhere. <sighs> Forget it. Got these though. It's okay. I wonder what's in that one. We should go find out. <sighs> Nothing but cardboard, paper, and styrofoam. Dang, this one's really heavy. Tossing two printers, huh? I'm gonna check those for toner, but... I don't know what that is, but we'll take it. Alright, next. <sighs> well, that's, uh, that's a pretty good one, too. <clears throat> but, of course, it is owned, so we don't get it. But we can check this one. Not that it looks like there's anything. Oh. Okay, well this has got some decent wire. <sighs> well there is our haul for the day. This is actually more than I was expecting. So, um, I got bored and uh, ran out of battery. Uh, which is unfortunate because most of this good stuff came out of that, uh, that other one uh, that we were just in. But he came along and told me to get lost, so it's a shame we didn't actually have uh, that on film. But the real win is this one right here. Yes. So I was at a spot where there was a plumber shop right beside a tire shop, and uh, I went and, well, I checked the dumpster. That was the one that had the, um, the printer in it. Also, I grabbed that. I just want to take the toner and put it in my own printer. 
if it is indeed a toner type. We'll find out. Anyway, that was the one that had a tire shop right beside. So I asked them if they had any wheel weights. Um, somebody actually shows up and takes their wheel weights for them, but he happened to be there. So I asked him if I could uh, buy this bucket, and he said sure, so I just gave him scrap value for this. And now we have that. We just have to return the bucket. More on this later. Some of you were asking, I do have a plan, I'm kind of jazzed about it. This is going to be a fun project coming up real quick. I am bending the crap out of- we gotta get that out. Okay. So I have some thoughts to share about dumpster diving for scrap metal at plumber's shops, and we'll go over that while we get this stuff picked through on the bench. Right, let's sort this out into some piles. There, so we got the uh, copper wires, we got the mixed copper and brass to sort through, and uh, mixed aluminum and probably some zinc, and I don't know what this is, but we're gonna find out. Now, what I learned today is that most of these big plumbing shops already have somebody who comes by and picks up their scrap and brings it to the scrapyard and gives them a kickback for it. Which makes sense, because if anybody knows that there's a scrap value to copper and brass, it would be plumbers. So either they have a bin or they have somebody who comes by with a truck. Um, regardless, they have it more or less figured out. But that doesn't necessarily mean there's no scrap to be found in the bins, because... Uh, this one's gonna need a vice. <sighs> kind of seems like they're a lot more careless. They just have this, uh, this larger group coming and grabbing their stuff and giving them a kickback, so they seem a lot less concerned with throwing out all of the little bits. Which is why all this stuff was still in the dumpster. Uh, that other guy that I talked to who I bought the bin of lead wheel weights off of, uh, he had an arrangement with, with the one place. They're just setting stuff outside along the fence for him to come and pick up. So I think if somebody was trying to create a route with plumbing shops, you could definitely do it with the smaller ones. He told me he used to work at the place right beside it, though, so he definitely already had an inn. Uh, I'm sure many of these places already have somebody, but anytime there's a new one, we could check in with them, or if somebody moved away, they're going to need a new scrap guy. They're like parking spaces. There's always people moving. So looking at these, it looks like all these pieces are brass, and this is also brass. Alright, I'm going to see if I can get these the same way the guy at the scrapyard taught me. I don't know, something about that just doesn't seem right. I got a better idea. It did eventually work. It certainly wasn't the easiest way. I do not know how to get these out. One second. I figured it out. Yeah. Uh -huh. Pile of clean brass. And then we just gotta solve the mystery of what the heck is this because of its uh complex casting i'm guessing zinc see if it 
I still don't have a reliable way that I'm happy with to test and compare cast aluminum and cast zinc. It's, it's pretty light. It doesn't dent super easy. I'm thinking maybe zinc, but we'll find out. If any of you guys have any tips, let me know. Those are all the same thing. This thing is a pain in the butt and it says pump on it, so I'm just gonna throw it in with motors and call that good. And then this thing, that's the one I'm wondering about. But I have a feeling it Comes apart like that, eh? Yeah, it doesn't seem to be stainless, just seems to be regular steel. Got excited for nothing. So, let's see how we did. Roughly ten and a half pounds of brass and copper. That's not that bad. And then... These are a lot less important. We've got a, f a dollar, maybe, in uh, motors. And then this is probably eh, like two to five dollars worth of wire. And then these chunks, if anybody wants to chime in and help me confirm, I think these are zinc. And there's maybe two pounds there. So all in all, not terrible. It's definitely not a full day's work, but it's a decent looking pile of copper and brass. So if a person was out there looking for specifically copper and brass, hey, look, we found some. Now, if this video existed to answer a question, that question would be, is it worth it to go dumpster diving at plumbing shops for copper and brass? And I'd say yes. Yes, it is. It's not a huge payout, but we got 10 pounds worth of material. So. Not a bad haul at all. This is a fun little dumpster experiment, and I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I did. You leave it better than you found it. Keep doing the thing.